Hello there, so in order to continue our learning tutorials in Unreal Engine 5, we are going to take a look at the modeling tools in Unreal Engine 5. So these modeling tools have been there for a very, very long time in Unreal Engine 4, but um, there's been a huge update in them. So in Unreal Engine 4, you can pretty much do anything in the model with, that, with the modeling tools, you can I mean, it's, it's, it is really handy. It makes sure that you don't need a third party application like Blender or 3D Studio Max in any way. So you can just be comfortable and do everything you want inside the Unreal. So um, to show you the basics, I'm gonna go ahead and create some walls around here, uh, something like an interior. Um, I'm gonna create a rect, which is pretty much a plane okay hit accept and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, to the top and I'm going to use the path extrude so I'm going to draw my walls in here so let's start from here only Something like this. Maybe a maze would be nice, I don't know. Maybe something like this, nah. Okay, this is not bad. Uh, so let's go ahead in the perspective. So you can, after you've um, drawn your path, you can change the extrude value i'm gonna go ahead and use something like uh, in the middle and then the the height of the walls it's really important okay so and with just some minor clicks we've created our first walls in this scene which is pretty cool, right? Um, so you can go ahead and for the um, for the roof, you can uh, hold Alt and then duplicate this one. If that's not what you want, you can go ahead and create um, a roof using this poly pol uh, yeah poly extrude node. So you can just again draw the walls let me show you so you can again draw the walls and then uh, like yeah something like that I don't want it to be perfect I just want to show you how it works perspective and now I want it to have a little bit of width and that's it so and and that's our roof see we have our walls we have our roof let's um create a light in here so we can see a bit wanted to cast shadow and and that's pretty much it um so right now we can what you can do we have the meshes and if you want to know where the meshes are uh, all the meshes that you create here will be um then copied and generated into this folder you can then just go ahead and uh, drag them into any folder you want from there um as simple as that so in the materials section, what I want to do is I want to add something from um, Quixel Bridge. So then I'm going to, yeah, I've already had some wall there. Surfaces and then probably a brick one. I don't care that much. I just want to show you something. Low quality is fine. 
and then add it to the project and simple as that everything's done also I want this one to have that too and you can change the tiling in here so probably 10 10 or 12 would be nice okay and that's it it's pretty much uh, let's fix this issue as well and yeah and if you want to see the result with the with the proper lighting because we didn't really do anything in the lighting so this is what we've, we've achieved in just five minutes or so but stairs stairs is something that you would use a lot i mean a lot so you can just click on them click onto the world wherever you want them to be you can change the options in here you have a lot of options to change to change actually you can change the type or if you don't want it to be a static mesh or if you want it to you can use a volume and if you don't know what, what a volume is it's if i hit accept let compile for a second oh it took some time um it's 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 a blocking volume so it's like the character will not be floating inside it the character will actually walk on it without anything to be visible so it's like a an invisible wall and um that's pretty much it i hope it this pro uh this tutorial helps you and if it did please hit that like button cheers